आदरणीय केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री श्री अमित भाई शाह जी विदेश मंत्री डॉक्टर एस जयशंकर जी मंत्रीगण संसदगण अपने लेखों द्वारा इस पुस्तक में योगदान देने वाले प्रबुद्ध लेखगण ब्लू क्राफ्ट डिजिटल फाउंडेशन का मुख्य कार्यकारी अधिकारी श्री अखिलेश मिश्रा जी ब्लू क्राफ्ट डिजिटल फाउंडेशन के निर्देशक श्री हितेश जैन जी रूपा पब्लिकेशन के मुख्य कार्यकारी अधिकारी श्री कपेश मेहरा जी सम्मानित अतिथिगण अधिकारीगण मीडिया के मित्रों बहनों और भाइयों आज हम सब लोग देश के यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी जी के जीवन और कृतित्व पर आधारित इस पुस्तक का लोकार्पण हेतु आयोजन एक कर रहे कार्यक्रम में भाग ले रहे मेरा मन में भी बहुत हार्दिक प्रसन्नता हो रही है सचमुच में श्री मोदी जी एक ऐसी नेता है जिन्होंने विश्व के सामने ये साबित किया है कि सपनों का सिद्ध भी की जा सकते हैं सपनों का साकार भी की जा सकता है यह मेरा सौभाग्य है इस पुस्तक में योगदान करने वाले अनेक विभूतियों आज इस अवसर पर हमारे बीच उपस्थित है आप सभी का हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स आई फील वेरी हैप्पी टू बी हियर एट मीन्स टू ऑल एंड ऑल्सो रिलीज दिस इंपॉर्टेंट पब्लिकेशन अबाउट various aspects of personality and administration of our prime minister sri narendra bhai modi after going through it i can say this distinguished authors have contributed to this excellent publication in a well articulated manner so as to make the nation know about the great thoughts and deeds of the great man i compliment each of these writers on their incisive analysis and cogent presentation they have masterfully traced the contours of an iconic leader's fascinating journey of 20 years it really was fascinating i am not here to speak anything about politics i am no longer in party politics i am retired from politics but not tired from public life that's why i am here and i am happy mai <laughs> amit bhai being a politician he can speak very freely about his party <laughs> and his point of view but i can't do it i don't want to do it also because of my own responsibility but i have no hesitation the moment it was mentioned to me that such a book has been brought out and they publishers pub, publishers designed that i should release this without waiting for a minute i said i shall do it i am happy to do it and i am doing it today because the nation the people the younger generation of the country they should know the in and outs of the great contribution made by the prime minister he is the prime minister of the country elected prime minister and elected each time with more majority and the country today is happy that india is respected and recognized worldwide thanks to narendra bhai modi's leadership i had a occasion to work with him politically and i was in politics i had a occasion to work with him in the administration and i was a minister 
and also I have been working along with him and other colleagues in my present capacity as the chairman of the Rajya Sabha and also the vice president of India. These experiences, they are really very happy sometimes, I can tell you, because it's a great pleasure to meet a person, know his thoughts and his actions. The book is very aptly named as Modi, 20 Dreams Meeting Delivery. This is what is important. Dreams Meeting Delivery. Because at the end of the day, delivery is more important. Delivery to the people. And this book aptly describes the various initiatives thoughts, his vision, and its implementation and success of those dreams. This is what is more important. Anybody can dream. Some people do dreaming in daytime also. <laughs> that is the pleasure they can derive. That's human. I, I don't find fault with anybody. I don't have anybody in my mind. And nothing wrong in dream. <laughs> dream high, aim high, work hard. That is what even Abdul Kalam ji said, dream high, aim high, work hard. Here is an example. A man who was having dreams about the country and its welfare. Working hard day and night and delivering them. My dear Youngsters who are all watching this program on television, I suggest to all of you, go through the book in detail, analyze and understand. And know the master craftsmanship of working, working hard. This book is a rare compilation that gives the readers a ringside view of the evolution of one of the most popular and iconic leaders of modern India. The first Prime Minister born after independence. After independence. He is born after independence. Like some of us. See, Narendra Bhai, however, last 20 years, carved out a unique place in the history of post-independent India. Earlier for about 13 years as the Chief Minister of Gujarat and over the last 8 plus years as the Prime Minister. There is a body phenomenon. Even his detractors, opponents, agree that Modi is a phenomenon, whether you like it or not, he is a phenomenon. At the national level, even at the international level also, we are all seeing the reports that a person who has no earlier administrative experience becoming a chief minister, doing a wonderful work, and then becoming a prime minister, and then in the international arena also, he is recognized, he is respected, India also is respected and recognized. This book presents different facets of the distinct thought process, the pioneering proactive approach, and the quite essential transformational leadership. The stage that Narendra Bhai has come to be so closely identified with. He gave a three-line mantra, and he lives up to the spirit of the mantra. He said, reform. Perform, transform, transformation of the society, transformation of the individuals and transformation of the nation. Transformation for what? Transformation to better the lives of the people of the country. This is the mantra and he is living up to the mantra. Always thinking, always trying to improve 
and always thinking about uplifting the poorest of the poor. This is what has made him more popular in the country. This publication certainly helps in decoding Sri Narendra Bhai Modi and helps understanding how he has the courage to dream big for the people of his country and the grit to translate these dreams into tangible reality, positively impacting the lives of crores of Indians. The experiential learning, experimental itself, the basis of Modi's vision. Book encompasses the experimental journey of Sri Narendra Bhai Modi since he left his house at the tender age of 17 years and set out a mission of knowing himself, his country and finally defining the mission of transforming India. Public life is a mission for him and he never gave any remission or do any omission, had the passion for the nation. That's why he's able to work like this. Thinking about the country with a passion and trying to transform the country, always ideas. As I told you, I have some experience. Swachha Bharat, housing for all, so Amrut, so many ideas, even in, uh, when I was Minister for Urban Development and all. And we used to discuss, discuss, and uh, he always used to come with some innovative idea. And he has no hesitation to discuss and hear the, hear the views of others, as uh, Amit Bhai was telling. People say, no, no, Narendra Bhai Modi is impatient. Yes, he is impatient about the slow progress. He wants everything to be accelerated because after 70 years of independence, still there are problems for the country. Yes, we are a big nation. So he wants to see that those gaps are filled up at the earliest. Poverty eradication, ending illiteracy, ending social discrimination. These are the priorities. That's why the personality has become acceptable to the large sections of the people. His extensive travels, both within and outside the country, deep immersion in socio-cultural work since early days, and keen observation of the problems of the people and the nation, and an abiding faith in the potential of the people and the country shaped the vision of Sri Narendra Bhai Modi. He put to effective use his valuable learnings to write a developmental script for his own state, Gujarat, as Chief Minister, and scaled up the same at the national level as the Prime Minister. Sri Narendra Bhai's vision, his dreams and mission India have been shaped by his extensive travels and insightful experiential journey. This is the fundamental differentiator, differentiation that makes the Modi ji unique in several ways. There is probably no other public figure in the present contemporary times who had a comparable experiential journey as Sri Narendra Bhai Modi. The focus, attention of Sri Narendra Bhai to all round development as Chief Minister of Gujarat since 2001 and as Prime Minister since 2014 is an expression and a manifestation of numerous felt experiences accumulated during the stints as a social activist and later as a political activist. His uh, ability, mobility, coupled with stability, is bringing prosperity to the nation. One thing which I have also learned from my own experience is meet as many people as possible. Interact with as many people as possible. You will become more acceptable. And then you will get into the reality of the situation. This is what I learned from my experience also. And Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, not only used to extensively travel, even now he's traveling, of course. 
interacts with the people and convey his thoughts. Today, in spite of so many problems and challenges, he is able to communicate with the people. Communication is the biggest transformation he brought in the nation. This has to be understood. You have to communicate your right ideas. Reach as many people as possible. India is a country of diverse listing cultures and religions, regions, there are problems of language. So many things are there, but still is able to communicate to the people on a regular basis and convey his thoughts and rationale. I don't know, as I told you, I don't want to get into politics, but uh, because of his communicative skills, in spite of that uh, demonetization, still he was able to win the election because he communicated with the people and people developed trust in him. They had that confidence. Whatever this man does, is doing for sake of us. This sort of confidence he has built in with the people because of his regular communication. Born in a working class family, Srimodi ji is full conversant with the struggles of the poor and India had them in good numbers when he was young. Struggles of a nation are a collective of such individual struggles. As a perspective learner, Sri Modi acquired a deep understanding of such struggles at both the individual and at collective levels. In the process, he has realized that if India has to be revitalized, change must begin and be felt at the individual level. This is very important. The quality of life of each individual becomes his central focus. Sri Modi's comprehensive vision is shaped by his deep understanding of the life, works, and philosophy of Swami Vivekananda, Mahatma Gandhi, Dr. Ambedkarji, Dindal Upadhyayaji, and many other reading lights, where the Mahatma took the freedom struggle from out of hands of the elite to turn it to a mass movement. Sri Narendra Bhai Modi, as Chief Minister and Prime Minister, converted developmental initiatives into such a mass movement. I remember when we were launching this uh, Swachha Bharata Abhiyan, Prime Minister told me, I was a minister at the time, urban development, he told me, Venkaya ji, isko ek sarkar ka karyakram ka roop nahi dena. Isko ek rajanitik karyakram ka roop nahi dena. Mera man mein achar hori, rajanitik nahi, sarkar nahi, taur kya hai? उन्होंने कहा इसको एक जनांदोलन का रूप देना चाहिए जनांदोलन जनभागीदारी क्योंकि over the years our psyche has been affected in such a manner that everything will be done by the government सब काम सरकार करेगा हम बेकार बैठे तो चलेगा ऐसा नहीं चलेगा unless people get themselves involved and they are made to involve and they feel that it's for their good. The nation cannot move. This has been proved beyond doubt. And you know that I don't want to recollect all those schemes in detail, but they are becoming mass movements because of huge participation of the people. People's participation is vital. Jana Bhagidari. And every crisis, every time, crises are there, and he converted crisis into opportunity. He will be very strong. 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 That's an example. Taking bold decisions. Even the odds are staked up against us, comes instinctively to him. Temporary failures, episodes, surprises do not better them. One day about the hesitation on taking this vaccine and all we were discussing. Temporary pain for long-term gain. Is able <laughs> temporary pain, it may be a little painful when you take that vaccination. But long-term gain. Now we are seeing the effects of it, the pandemic, how India is able to face this pandemic. 
लॉर्ज पीपल नंबर ऑफ पीपल इवन पीपल किसने मजाक उड़ाया शुरू शुरू में क्या है वैक्सीन दे आर ऑल्सो क्वाइटली गेटिंग वैक्सीनेट बिकॉज द रूजन द रीजन इज ट्रूथ प्रूव एंड ट्रूथ इट इज रिक्वायर्ड अलॉन्ग विद दैट इज ऑल्सो मेड पीपल विच इज माई फेवरेट दिस थिंग इज ऑफ पीपल पार्टिसिपेशन एंड ऑल्सो पीपल शुड बी हेल्दी इफ दे आर हेल्दी दे कैन बिल्ड ए वेल्दी नेशन ए वेल्दी नेशन कैनॉट बिकम ए हेल्दी नेशन ए हेल्दी नेशन कैन बिकम सी दाइक इज इनिशिएटिव फॉर योगा योगा द मोटिवेशन एंड नो योगा हैज बिकम ए फैसिनेशन अक्रॉस द ग्लोब वेर एवर एंड ऑल्सो हिज फैसिनेशन फॉर द इंडियन कल्चर which is given by our four fathers now everywhere people are trying to follow our tradition and our culture at least show that and we meet and greet people because the leader who is practicing propagating professing faith he believes in it and he show it it to the people and people also started realizing because we are a great civilization thousands of years of our four fathers have given us this civilization and we should protect that civilization civilization is different from religion some people have a wrong belief religion is different religion also is good in its own way but there are different religions but civilization the great civilization indianness bhartiyata and whenever i see the prime minister visiting any country people are welcoming it with the indian tradition with the indian methods and it is becoming now universally acceptable that the great indian traditions are being respected repeated practiced by many across the globe taking bold decisions and also explaining their rational reaching out to the people and learning new things and then passing on them to the people so he propagated a theory that our collective strength can make us emerge as a strong nation by building on the unique voice and vision that india has traditionally stood for the global stage he has demonstrated that india has an incredibly vast treasure of knowledge and wisdom that can be relevant for making the entire planet a better place to live my dear brothers and sisters thinking big and acting in scale india is a, india is big in numbers and its problems among us given the scale of population and the range of diversities to address them modi ji has to think big and execute in a scale in a speed and the results are obvious some members are test this approach opening of 45 crore new bank accounts mujhe yaad aa raha hai jab hum sarkar mein the unhone kaha sabko bank account kholna chahiye maine kaha theek hai hamara zamana mein pura ho jayega unhone kaha kya zamana maine kaha hamara tenure tenure nahi जल्दी होना चाहिए मैंने कहा जो काम पचास साल से नहीं हो पाया उसमें उसको पांच साल में करना है तो उन्होंने सेट नो यू वॉज रेस्ट यू एंड नो यू नो यू सी द कुछ लोगों ने मजाक उड़े अकाउंट क्या पैसा ही नहीं है तो बैंक अकाउंट खोलने में मतलब क्या है अगर आप लोग देख रहे हैं कितना बैंक अकाउंट है तो पैसा कहां से आया एंड वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दिस गवर्नमेंट इज डायरेक्ट डिलीवरी डी it has to be improved further at all levels by all people concerned various states of administration center state and local bodies and all this delivery mechanism has to be further improved i do agree but the big good beginning has been made a bold beginning has been made direct delivery otherwise you know the problems of the people in this country they are suffering you have to stand you have to stand in line meet greet and do something in between greeting and meeting and shaking hands and doing something between hands 
suppose direct delivery straight coming to your accounts this is what is required this is a wonderful transformation that has been brought about and it should be further transformed and accelerated so as to reach the last man whoever is having problem so dbt i can say is a great initiative building 12 crore toilets 3 crore houses to add dignity to life or 5 crore mudra loans transferring over 20 lakh crore to the deserving beneficiaries under 320 schemes direct benefit transfer saving 2 lakh crores in process bringing tremendous relief to 8 crore poor women with lpg cylinders about 10 million people giving up their gas subsidy and another 42 lakh senior citizens foregoing rail fare subsidy and millions of youth being empowered with upgradation of skills appealing to the people to give up cylinder subsidy the nai the nai a manasikata se bahar aake logo ne itna tyag kiya they can afford so they don't want subsidy he motivated people in that direction that is one great aspect and also some of the senior citizens also giving up this uh, what do you call a concession 19 crore households getting piped water thousands of kilometers of high class roads being built break neck speed uh, in fact of course this scheme was started by sriman atal bihari vajpayee ji national highway network swarna chaturbhuja yojana atak to katak kanyakumari to kashmir that road connectivity rail connectivity highway connectivity tele connectivity television connectivity all connectivities started by him undoubted great man and those are now the way they are being implemented see the road road work network the way it's expanding in the present regime unprecedented expansion of iits triple iits iims aims launching of thousands of model schools etc speak for this think big and act scale with the speed approach of the present prime minister it is not that some of these things are like building houses toilets were not done earlier but as i was mentioning he thinks differently and acts differently whatever sri modi ji does he brings that with a lot of passion and energy to whatever he thinks and undertakes is a man whose sankalp or determination is firm and who has the perseverance to do whatever is necessary to make the mission succeed he believes that ultimately outcomes are important siddhi or the fulfillment of the dream is our ultimate object such big thinking and acting in scale approach doesn't succeed under a top down approach it is success hinges on bottom up approach and only if the people are made to become active partners this can happen that's why the stress on janabhagidhari my dear friends from gujarat to delhi he has traveled a larger canvas and he had a variety of brushes to paint in india his fellow citizens inspire him to create he is receptive to ideas whatever good idea from a small man or a big man ideas if once he likes the idea then he pushes it forward lot of examples are there the successful implementation of programs like kanya kelwani for creating educating the girl child Sujalam Sufalam Paperless Secretariat Broadband to all 1300 villages in Gujarat Recasting governance to make the state a vibrant Gujarat Extensive adoption of GIS and GPS in welfare and development planning He has scaled up all of them from Gujarat to national level I have no hesitation in describing Modi as a scientist Who first experiments and then scales up based on results in doing so sri modi does human 
service to the nation by adopting evidence-based initiatives and actions and reducing the chances of failure. My dear brothers and sisters, there is no aspect of our nation's life, public life that is not impacted by the Prime Minister since he became the Prime Minister. From pub politics to governance, he has set up a new normal in all domains. It is not business as usual anymore. He set a new benchmark in all spheres. So Sri Modi ji is now widely being acknowledged as an erection mission. In our country, we have round-the-clock erections. And everybody is busy in that because erections, erection every three months, every six months. Election means three-point program. Election, collection, selection. So people used to get ready. But he focused on more on development, on delivery. That is the reason for his success. This is what I firmly believe. Every practicing politician should have adequate understanding of the life <coughs> context of common people and insight into their aspirations. He perfected this art. That's why he is seen as a successful campaigner, right from Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation in 1987. He took every election so seriously. Even if he's not there in the campaign, people discuss about him. That's the phenomena in this country. Either his supporters or his opponents, they discuss of Modi, even in municipal election also. And he has proved that a democracy can deliver. 2019 general elections to Lok Sabha has recorded the highest ever voting. This amounts to deepening the democracy and a major contribution of our Prime Minister. The politics of hope. Yes, Sri Narendra Modi is a politician as well as 24 into 7. It is, it is politics of hope and appropriately defined by Amit Bhai in his article. As a fellow traveler of Sri Modi ji, the Home Minister rightly noted Sri Modi ji usually in new era of public service. He further stated, and I quote, people looked at Sri Modi as one who would repair their broken dreams and restore India to prosperity. Repair. These observations of Sri Amit Bhai Shah, backed by Sri Modi ji's victory in 2014, which was a milestone in the political history of our country, he was voted as the Prime Minister with absolute majority in Lok Sabha after 30 long years. If you want prosperity, you need to have stability. If you want to have progress, peace is the prerequisite for progress. If you have tension, you cannot pay attention and have the retention of the ideas. So tension has to be reduced. It has been considerably reduced in this country. I have no hesitation to say. And all of us should work in public life, whoever is there taking this occasion to see peace is maintained at all levels. Respect for each other. Respect for each other. Respecting our political opponents. After all, we are only opponents. We are not enemies. This has to be remembered by one and all. And we are competing with each other in serving the people in our own way. And ultimately, it is the people who has to decide. And people in the system also, they are, must also have that patience. Some time back, there was a discussion that intolerance is going on in this country, growing. I said, yes. I said, particularly, you are intolerant to the mandate of the people. <laughs> One must have tolerance, na? Why, five years, you have given them. Five years, you have done your own work, you have done your own work. वो जानता है कि बीच में जाके बीच में बताते रहो उनका क्या कमियां है क्या गलतियां है क्या शॉर्टकमिंग्स है उतना पेशेंस होना चाहिए इफ यू डोंट हैव दैट पेशेंस ना यू विल बिकम अ पेशेंट दिस हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड बाय ओन एंड 
everyone, everyone, irrespective of this, that and all now in this country, in one state, this party is ruling, in another state, another party is ruling, and in the other state, another party also is ruling, new parties are ruling. So there are different borders. So each political party and leader must aim to improve the lot of the common man, improve the image of system, utilize the parliamentary forums in a better effective manner, raise the, and enhance the prestige and honor of the parliament, of the legislatures, of the institutions while we are all working. We should respect them and we should utilize that forum. And in that, that forums also should be properly utilized. That's why I always say, let the government propose, let the opposition oppose, let the house dispose. <laughs> there is no other way. This has to be understood by one and all. So my dear friends, I suggest to all the youngsters particularly to go through the contribution made by these people, analyze it, agree, disagree, no problem, because that is what is democracy and all, and then highlight wh where you disagree, how you disagree, and what you disagree, and then propagate the ideas to strengthen democratic functioning in the country. The Prime Minister's rigorous work schedule, I have the experience. He always works, works, works. My husband told me one day, I'm a private person, I'm going to tell you about it. My husband told me a little bit, I'm going to tell you a little bit. I'm going to tell you a little bit. I'm going to tell you a little bit more time. So I conveyed to Prime Minister. My husband knows me. He told me, I'm going to tell you. He told me, I don't have to sleep. नींद नहीं आया तो मैं क्या करूं? Because he always thinks, he is never satisfied. He want to improve, improve, improve further. You think that you have done an excellent work? He says there is scope for further excellence. He always thinks on those lines. That restiveness, restiveness is not to create unrest. The restiveness is to improve further to better the life of the people. That should be there in every politician, of any party of any team. Not to be rescued that you have not been elected, or selected, or rejected. The rescueness is to do better, and believe in the future, work hard, and then you can really move. This Sreshta Bharat, Swachya Bharat, Swastha Bharat, Surakshit Bharat, Sampanna Bharat, Surakshit Bharat and Atma Nirbhar Bharat, we are all collectively dreaming of these are possible only when we all work together, work sincerely and work earnestly. Priya Behano or Bhaiyo, a Pustak Apne Apne Kshetra Ke Visheshagyo Ke Dwara Likhe Gai Is Saksha Adarit Pramanik Jis Visheshnatma Krekon Ka Sankal Na Hai, Yeh Ek Prairanaspad जीवन वृत्ति है इस वृत्त है इसमें भारतीय लोकतंत्र की अंतर्निहित शक्ति दिखती है बदलाव का प्रतीक एक नेता राष्ट्रीय जीवन में कैसी सकारात्मक परिवर्तन ला सकते हैं यह इस पुस्तक में दिखता है इस प्रकाशन का लोकार्पण करते हुए मुझे अत्यंत हर्ष हो रहा है इस पुस्तक में अपने एकों से योगदान देने वाले सभी आदरणीय महानुभावों का और ब्लू कफ डिजिटल फाउंडेशन का और इस पुस्तक के प्रकाशन करने वाले सबको मैं हार्दिक बधाई देना चाहता हूं और अभिनंदन देता हूं माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दैट वी ऑल असेंबल हियर फॉर दिस फंक्शन एंड वी हैड एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गो थ्रू द व्यूज ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल एंड आल्सो हियर द व्यूज फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट एंड लेट अस रियली टेक द स्पिरिट ऑफ hard work, determination, dynamism, forward, because making of developed India, some people may mischievously try to make it more E, more DI. No, no, making of developed India. That should be our aim. Develop, development in every sense, happiness among the people. It's not a question of prosperity alone. 
what is required is happiness. Living without tension, happy living. We should move in that direction. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Hind.